the question I posed was, is the starter kit worth it? I believe it is. I even, I'll be completely honest with you. I joined this business when I had three children. I was trying to conceive my fourth and we love books. And I actually wanted just a starter kit and just to be able to buy cheaper for my own children. I then decided I was going to sell a couple of books and I decided I wanted to go to a company event. From there, it literally opened my eyes to the possibility that this could be the thing that gave me an extra income. And from that moment, it's literally transformed my life. I love it. I have a team of over a thousand, predominantly mums, and we just love working together. It's brilliant. But I only joined for that kit. So if you wanted to join just for the kit, that's absolutely fine. What's the catch? The catch is that you are required to place orders that total £120 retail value. Um, not cost to us, we get 24% cheaper than that. So retail value, it has to be 120. That costs us about 90 quid. Um, and that's it. So it's actually, you can just buy those books for your kids or you could just have one like virtual party or showcase a few books, get a few orders in, give the catalogs out to a couple of people, do that one order and never do anything again. Or you can learn, grow, develop, do what you have to do, what you have to do. If the potential is unlimited, it's so amazing. We only work with about 2% of schools at the moment throughout the whole of UK and Europe. So there's so much growth potential there. It is something that fits around everything else. It's something that requires work. It's not a magic box of books. As much as I'd like to tell you here, buy this box of books with me. It's going to cost you £48. I'm going to wave a magic wand and you're going to have my income um, in your bank account every single month. I would love to have that magic wand. I don't. It's a business. You have to work at it. You have to put some effort in. You have to find a customer base. You have to grow that customer base. Social media makes this so much easier. We live in a world now where we can get in front of people on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok, on LinkedIn, on Twitter. They're amazing channels. People are out there all the time looking for books, wanting to keep their children entertained, trying to get them off the screens. Schools are desperate to get new books in their libraries. This is something that we can offer them. The way I looked at it when I joined was, and I'll be honest, I didn't really have a spare £48 when I joined this business. I had three children, as I say, we were living off just my partner's income. Money was really, really tight. So it was a big deal. But I thought, have I got anything really to lose if I just jump in and give it a go? And as I say, my giving it a go was just to get cheaper books for me to start with. And then I got decided to give it a go to earn more money with it as well. That turned out to be the best decision I have ever made. If you'd like to have a conversation, if you want to ask some questions, feel please, please pop in the comments, subscribe to my channel, follow me on YouTube and LinkedIn and <laughs> Instagram. Um, Sarah's Bookshop is my channels or Sarah Higgs. Come and say hello. I don't buy. You can come and slide into my DMs and I will answer any question you have or pick up the phone and have a conversation with you. It's not for everybody. Not everyone wants to be self-employed. Not everyone has the self-motivation to, to get up and work in the morning. But for those people who want to give it a go, I've seen people transform their lives time and time and time again. So my advice is do it anyway. Figure it out as you go along. Then if it's not for you, carry on with your life. At least you've known you've given it a go rather than always sit at the back of your head going, could that be something that I want to be a part of? Have an amazing evening. I'm Sarah and I will catch up with you soon.